I have to laugh at the tactic being used by a number of prominent left-leaning commentators on Twitter. They're blocking anyone who has a blue check. Now, they haven't found a way to automate this process, but anytime there's someone that's replying to anything that they're saying, then they have a blue check, they automatically block them, regardless of the content. And this is all because Elon has done what he said he would. He's giving those with a blue check more priority and visibility. And it's quite apparent that many people have been very excited to have been able to get the blue check, that many of the people who want to support Elon's version of Twitter, like even if they don't care that much about the extra perks you get, like long posts and formatting and stuff like that, but the people who just really were excited about having that blue check so they could just show people, hey, I am helping this platform, yet many of them are more in favor of Elon's kind of politics. You know, most of them do not preach the message. Most of these blue checkers do not want to dismantle the prevailing oppressive systems that make up society because these systems have been declawed for the most part. These people do not view the world through a lens of critical theory. And therefore, they are a danger to the filter bubbles that so many people were so used to having on the platform. You know, these filter bubblists were so used to getting people suspended on the platform for not agreeing or for being too dismissive or too, uh, too mean in their arguments or something. Just, I mean, because sometimes, uh, I, I mean, sometimes people will even say that statistics are something that ends in istrophobic, right? Just statistics. <laughs> You know, so, so they were used to getting people suspended from the platform that didn't conform to this, you know, ideological thinking. And now, now they have to look at these posts unless they go on ridiculous blocking sprees. But I also need to say, if I'm, if I'm to be fair, that there are a lot of bullies on Twitter. There are a lot of people who get their jollies off figuratively shitting in everyone's Cheerios. They don't care about genuine interactions. They're not trying to spread any sort of message, whether external or personal. They're there to cause harm. They're there to stir the pot. Or at the very least, they're there to cause friction. And there's really nothing stopping the bullies from getting the blue check. And we all have to deal with it from all sides. But that's just how these platforms work when they're not locked down to one ideology. It's something I expect. But I also expect that Elon will work with people to try to find new ways of suppressing the bullying kind of behavior. There, there, there should be something in place. We don't know what it is right now, but we know that just like removing a whole bunch of uh, people who have the wrong opinions off the platform is not the best way to go about things. We need to be able to have discussions. But I, I, think, uh, I think with enough people working at it, I think we'll find some way to reduce bullying on the platform. Having said that, though, on the, on the other side, I'm wondering if Elon will eventually add the option for those who have the blue check, for those paying for Twitter Blue, to be able to hide that from their profile. So that way they can get all the benefits of having blue, you know, they'll still have more priority and visibility, but uh, people won't be able to tell they have a blue check. I think that'd be great. That'd be a great way to handle this situation. Who knows if he'll actually do it, though. But uh, if it becomes more common for people to just block anyone that has a blue check, you, you know something is going to happen at some point. So it's going to be interesting to watch. Anyway, thanks for watching.